Uh, welcome back to the Vodcast and the Podcast. I'm Dr. Greg Eckel. I'm Dr. Greg Nye. Our topic today is on motor vehicle accidents, which is a little bit odd. It's a, definitely a trauma out there. Yeah. Uh, in the state of Oregon, little known facts, uh, we have PIP coverage, which is uh, personal injury protection. protection. Uh, yes. And I think a lot of patients don't realize that they can come in and see a naturopathic doctor and their coverage is, um, it includes our treatments up to a, a grand total of about $15,000. And is there a window within which they got to You've got, in that? you have to get that within the first year after the accident. You have one year. Um, I encourage folks to actually come in sooner than later. And the reason being and why I wanted to make this into uh, one of our episodes here is I, we see a lot of folks that have been in injuries or, yeah. but the injuries were 20 years ago, 30 yeah. years ago. And through taking the case, they, it becomes clear like they have never been better since this accident. It's so common. With neck pain and shoulder, yes, shoulder pain, every, chronic pain, pain knees came yeah. from something, and yeah. it's very rare. You know, yes, there's the arthritic pains chronically, but on this, um, you know, on a, an acute trauma, I think what doesn't get discussed in the allopathic world is how to deal with soft tissue. Yeah, um, they're looking for frank breaks. Right. And dysfunction. If you can't see the problem on an image, then, then it doesn't it, exist. It's not there. And, and the body will take care of itself. And yeah. all too often, people will go in immediately after an, an accident where they have cortisol surging through their body. They, you're not feeling the right. effects of an accident right. with for that first week or two weeks, depending on how much trauma you had right. and what severity of how your adrenal gland responded. And they go in, you know, I was actually just in a bike accident, a car hit me, a monster truck actually, in the fall, and I basically bounced up off the ground and said, oh, I can bike home. That's how strong cortisol is. Right. Um, and it took about two weeks for me to actually feel the effects of what my body just went through, right? There's that physics law. Yeah. For every action in the universe, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That energy has to go somewhere, and most of the time it's into our bodies. So all too often I find people go into the ER uh, in that state, in a high cortisol derived state, mm -hmm. and then they're getting muscle relaxants and pain medications. Right. Go home, it, you know, give it a couple weeks, it'll be gone. So in, in fact, we've just, just slowed down the healing process, but we're not getting the signal anymore to our brain. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we're setting people up for these more chronic areas of dysfunction later. And maybe it's not acute pain that, that you're experiencing two weeks later, but if you haven't dealt with that blood stagnation in a Chinese medicine sense, that is an area that you could have early degeneration, arthritic, arthritic changes, um, all kinds of things yeah. can come up there. Yeah. Anytime there is trauma to the body, anytime there's trauma, there's going to be an inflammatory response. Right. The body has to deal with tissue that has been traumatized. So even if it's not felt acutely, or if it's felt just that it, it's not felt like it's very bad, oh yeah, my neck's a little sore after that accident. Those are, those are signals that are important to address because that little, oh, my neck's a little sore, 10 years later, it may still be a little sore from that accident. If that doesn't get resolved in the body and that, that inflammation is allowed to simmer, not only does it lead to a chronic problem, wherever that is, um, but it also leads to more systemic problems because the more inflammation sets up in the body and just keeps cranking out, then those inflammatory uh, molecules keep in circulation in the body and it has an impact on all kinds of systems in the body. Yeah, and then, and then that kind of uh, snowballing effect of that is the body then in its inherent wisdom is trying to protect, let's say it's the neck, and now you're accommodating above and below that area, and then there's other areas of dysfunction that right. arise. So it is, um, it's an area where I would say you, you definitely want to get comprehensive care after an accident, whether you were hit on your bike or in a car accident. I mean, car accidents, as much as five miles an hour, even if there's no body damage to the car, I think a lot of folks yeah. think, well, you know, it was just a fender bender. Nothing really happened. But ultimately, that had to go into your body somewhere and if you don't have your headrest in the right spot mm -hmm. if you were cocked you're you know you saw it coming and you braced 
whatever how whatever happened during that accident yeah. that has set up that inflammatory cascade somewhere in the body so how do we go about dealing with that right um, yes definitely pain is the fifth symptom we want to provide pain relief and occasionally it is we're prescribing pain medications and muscle right. relaxants. you have to keep people functional yeah if and somebody is not able to sleep due to is. pain we want them to be able to sleep that's yeah. a rest and regeneration but we also don't want to just numb out the system where you're not feeling anything and then you're stuck in that snowballed effect. Right. There's, yeah. There's so many, uh, you know, in that conventional world where they say, okay, take these pain meds and go home and let your body heal for two weeks. Right. In our world, it's like, that's hey, two we weeks, but we can that. really support right. the body healing. We right. can facilitate that process. We don't have to just stand around and wait. That's the exciting part, I think, of what we do is that we, we understand the physiology and the biochemistry of the body, and we know what nutrients need to go in there to make it function well. And so that's where, that's where we come in is that we help the body heal, given the right nutrients. We address the diet. I mean, again, here's the, a diet discussion. It wouldn't be a, uh, an episode without yeah. one mention of nutrition yeah. and diet. Um, but looking at anti-inflammatory foods, everybody that comes in for pain that sees me, uh, first four years of my practice, I never addressed diet with people. The last six years of my practice, I've addressed diet with every patient that comes through the clinic. And, the re and what I see with that, people hold their adjustments better. Right. They get out of pain faster. The body is able to heal better because we take that agitation, that chronic daily agitation that was happening from food. Food wasn't the cause, but it was contributing into that infla it just inflammation. Just into that, all that inflammatory stuff. Yeah. And so it's a, it is actually a, a fun way to practice yeah. uh, by providing these like simple yeah. nutrients uh, that just you know we get called quacks because we understand biochemistry <laughs> and physiology. Acupuncture too, you know, oh. with pain. Uh, in Chinese medicine, pain is is stasis. There's a block in the flow of energy, blood and chi and all those things, wherever the injury is, neck, shoulder. And acupuncture is all about movement. It's about getting things to yeah. move. And so with acupuncture, it's one of the most effective things that we can do um, for pain, just quick trauma. pain relief. Yeah. People can come in bent over and barely moving. And, the, and it's sometimes amazing oh, yeah. how people can walk out actually fine right and standing upright and feeling okay yeah um, so that is another you know along with all the nutrients that we do in the diet counseling to to bring in the acupuncture and Chinese herbs that yeah. support that process yeah I think just talking a little bit more on the chi on the acupuncture I get qu questions on how does that work yeah and the way I explain it is just on blood flow when you think about what travels in your blood it's the healing properties of your body you got oxygen, vitamins, and minerals. They go into the cell. Carbon dioxide, waste products come out. Your whole immune system travels in the blood. All of your hormones travel in the blood. And kephalons, you know, everything, all of that information is traveling in the blood. With a lack of blood flow from a trauma, you have that stagnation that Dr. Nye was talking about. So what we really look to do is bring the blood flow back in. So we get the waste products out. We get the, the good stuff back into an area of dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And that's really how I, I see how it works. And yeah. when you look at the classic medical texts as well, the emperors of China were obsessed with blood flow, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, we've got this kind of exotic chi, uh, <laughs> which is a, is a great concept and is out there. But I like, for the Western mind, I feel like we can wrap our brains around blood. We like blood in our bodies, mm -hmm. not on the floor. Yeah. Uh, and by moving that with acupuncture, that really, it is yeah. effective. I mean, we've got folks come in, literally cannot sit down in our waiting room, and right. they're walking out of here, getting back to work. I saw a roofer, uh, he called, you know, called the next day, and he's like hauling 50-pound bags of shingles up the roof. <laughs> so that might be a bit much the day yeah. after, but not, if you're able to that do time. that, I mean, it was pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah. It doesn't happen for everybody, but right. that's the type of yeah. results that you can get. Right. Uh, and then also, you know, Chinese herbs as far as blood moving yeah. and informing the information in the blood. That's another way that I kind of yeah. couch that discussion with folks. Yeah. We all, you, know, you know, we've got physical medicine as well. I think a lot of folks don't realize we do naturopathic manipulation technique. We also have this neurologic relief technique that mm -hmm. we've uh, learned over the last two years that mm -hmm. has been really impressive for relieving pain and neurologic symptoms all over the body yeah. uh, when, it's, when it's indicated. Um, Hydrotherapy, the application of hot and cold to again work on blood flow. Physiotherapy, I mean, ultrasound, so interferential. Bring, yeah. It's a really this area. I find we really. I mean, we thrive in a lot of areas. This one uh, is a personal passion of mine. I like getting people out of pain. 
Um, and it's, uh, it, we have very effective tools at doing that. Yeah, I really think this is one area where there's a dramatic difference between the conventional approach and the naturopathic approach. Both are looking to get someone out of pain that has resulted from the accident. In, in our world, we're looking to heal the cause of the pain. Right. It, like we're really looking to fix the tissue so that the pain goes away. Um, and once that's done, there's not, you know, you don't end up with that lifelong, never better since that, that accident. accident. Right. And I think, you know, one way kind of in, in wrapping up and looking at that, with the inflammation comes some fibrotic changes mm -hmm. and the muscle fibers get, they get interwoven and they're not lined up. And that is the aspect that never gets addressed conventionally. Right. The, the thought is, well, you're out of pain, it's healed. Um, but what we are seeing is it's not healed. It's just, it's there. And that is a weak link for you for the rest of your life unless yeah. you get it fixed. And we're seeing people 20, 30 years I after know. an accident. If you can see them. And it's like, wow. So that's, that is one big reason as to why I wanted to bring this up uh, out here on an episode is that, you know, I want to educate you all listening and watching that you really, you got to take care of it. The sooner the better. Um, with any of this stuff, but in particular right. with traumas, yeah. because that, um, you know, it could change your life later that if you heal properly after that injury, um, it really sets you up for not having chronic pain from, a, from an injury like that. So, good. There it is. That's a wrap. Um, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Greg Eckel. Dr. Greg Nye. And please continue to s yes. send questions to us. We'd love to get them. Send them an email to questions at naturecuresclinic.com, and we will try to get to those as we can. Yes, indeed. Thanks for listening.